how are you doing? Today I'm in a slightly different setting to kick off this vlog. I am in Hotel, is it Hotel Cafe Royale? I think I always get the name mixed up, like the words mixed around. This lip balm, sorry, I was meant to be starting the vlog, but this lip balm, so good. I'm at Hotel Cafe Royale. It's stunning. I've wanted to stay here for years. Dream come true moment. I'm also here with Armani, which is also a dream come true because they're one of my favourite brands. I've been using them for years. I'm a big fan of the Luna Silk Concealer. As you guys will know, I literally put it on my face every single day. And breathe, Susie. Um, big fan of Luna Silk Foundation. Also a big fan of their bronzer, but very sad because I've run out of that. So we will not be using that today. But uh, yeah, I thought I would start this vlog at the risk of bursting into tears <laughs> because I'm not okay today. I have reached my breaking point in life and my tolerance really for breaking points probably lower than most people's. If I'm just being really harsh on myself, it probably is. Um, as someone that lives with anxiety, I'm just gonna put it out there. Probably it's not the most disastrous day ever, but I am struggling a little bit at the moment with life. Uh, everything is upside down. I, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you about it later. I actually can't talk about this right now because I'll cry. I'm just gonna put on some Luminous Silk Primer and <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> so yeah, not having the best uh, day so far today, but that's okay. We move, we move, put on makeup, that's what this is what I do. This is how I cope. I put on makeup. I actually had a little bit of makeup on, but I had SPF underneath it, so I had to take it off because I love my flash photos at the moment, and my SPF does ruin it a little bit, which I found out on my last trip. I need it. Hang on, please hold. A little bit of flashback face going on, but the SPF is so good, I just can't not use it and also need to use it. So really looking forward to dinner this evening. I'm also getting my makeup done and I'm very much looking forward to that because I haven't had my makeup done in a long time by somebody else. Um, I really can't be bothered to do like my eyes today. I am so out of practice with eyeshadow guys, it's not okay. Um, so that is going on my list of things that I need to practice because I don't like being bad at things. I think I'm gonna ask them if they will do my eye makeup. That would be amazing. No, I don't have to worry about that. We're about to do my favorite makeup technique where we just spill everything on all at once. So I'm going for the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. On the high points of my face and then where my scarring is, this is the shade 4.5. I love it so much. Literally use it every single day. I'm gonna go for a little bit of Bobbi Brown Corrector my eyes because it gives me life you know we love that bronzer look so i'm gonna leave the blush don't think it's a blush moment but what i do need is my own setting list. one of the few items i own that i know where it is it's the full wet bronze for me this is an essential part of the makeup routine i love it doubling up tonight because this is an evening makeup look and then once I've done this I need to decide on my outfit for this evening I bought three I still haven't decided I tried everything on yesterday of the evening i don't know i don't know if this is a look okay you guys i don't know if this is a look i'm just kind of going with my gut here this actually has like this this swishy bit on the back which needs to come around the front but i'm so scared to get any like foundation or bronzer on it that i'm just kind of leaving it behind until i actually have to go out and see people and have my photo taken uh yeah don't know if i like the hair but like i said i'm just I had 
a vision and I'm just rolling with it and hoping that it is okay, but I'm really not sure. This is the outfit. I'll show you the outfit in full uh, in the room in a sec, but this lighting is just better. And this is how I wanted to first up present myself to you rather than the really terrible lighting that we're about to see. Okay, I've tweaked the lighting slightly. So we're now working with very low light, but at least you don't just see boobs being highlighted by the terrible spotlights. So yeah, this works a little bit better, I think. Um, the top is House of CB. Bottoms are also House of CB. I've got some very old YSL heels on because I wanted the trousers to like be floor length, but I didn't want to look super short. And this is just the way that it worked out best with these heels um, rather than any of my other heels. My earrings are old ASOS earrings that I just love. I love them so much, they're so fun. Um, although they are misbehaving with my hair a little bit, they're kind of like colliding at the wrong point, but the side profile is, is decent, so I will take that. I've then got an Edge of Ember Victoria ring on, and then a Monica Vinida ring, another Monica Vinida ring that's exactly the same on the other hand, and then a little green and gold ring from Raimi. I'll show you them close up in a sec. And I've also got a Monica Vinida necklace on as a bracelet because I realized there was no necklace needed uh, with this kind of top. And I've also changed my nose ring you probably won't be able to see at all, but I've changed it to a gold nose ring and it... I'm very happy about it. Oh, excuse me. How the frick do you make this work? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually even see it, but that's the gold nose ring. I actually love it. I think I might keep this one in all the time. The only thing is, I really like the silver ones because I can wash my face and keep them in and then I never forget to put them back in whereas with studs and this nose ring I will forget to put it back in and I leave so many of them in hotel rooms so let's pray this one makes it home with me but anyway these are the rings that are on my left hand and then this one's a little bit big for me but I love it uh these are the rings on my right hand and then the Monica Vinida altar necklace as a bracelet which I think just makes a really nice little subtle addition to the outfit like it doesn't it, there's a lot going on it doesn't need much more i hope i look okay <laughs> you know when you've just got ready i don't know if anyone else know, knows this but when you get ready for so many events so many times and you're trying different things there's just sometimes where i'm like is this okay i don't even know if i look okay do makeup i'm gonna do light makeup for the masterclass. i think Good morning i am going for breakfast with victoria this morning in the hotel before we go to the master class with armani oh my god this moisturizer feels so good if you get the chance to get your hands on this moisturizer i would highly recommend it i know i'm using the night cream right now and that's because i couldn't be bothered to travel with both the day and the night cream but the night cream is just uh, delish. I really, really love it. I've not loved a moisturizer like this in a very, 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 actually ever. I don't think I've ever loved a moisturizer. Maybe like the Origins Ginseng. I really love that. Um, but this is like the adult big sister. There were a couple of Origins moisturizers actually that I did really love, but this is like the big sister version of them. Like it is just, 
I've never felt anything like it. It's absolutely stunning. It is a dream on very, very tired skin, which I currently have. If she woke up every hour on the hour after someone knocked on my door at midnight. I did not answer the door, obviously, because that's how you get murdered. I'm gonna need a lot of this this morning. So this is this morning's outfit. I'm wearing a Zara shirt, Zara jeans, and then a little pair of Dior heels, um, which I've had for ages and I actually haven't taken for an outing yet. So this is the first. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then I'm actually gonna come back up to the room after this morning's masterclass and get changed because I like to be comfy when I travel home. And I'm also just gonna be taking off my makeup because I realized, this is why I don't like getting up early. I realized I haven't put any SPF on. So good thing I'm actually not leaving the hotel this morning before I actually have to leave. So I'm gonna come back and get into like travel vibes. I put a whole load of makeup on for like an hour. So that's good. Anyway, let's go. Breakfast. And Giorgio Armani foundation. Guys, look at this. Last night's hairstyle was so extreme that my favorite clip has broken. <laughs> look at it. Oh, it really held up though the whole night, but one tiny bit has like broken. Now it's all kind of falling apart. Anyway, that's about that. No one needs to hear about that. I am back in my skin bodysuit, which I just love. I actually ordered the Skims one. I'm just gonna say this one's better. I really like it. Could I have sized down? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm tempted to buy it in the smaller size just so it's not, like you can fit a whole like hand in the back. It like gapes like denim does and I don't like that. Um, but other than that, it fits like quite well. There's just a little bit of rippling here because my chest isn't like filling it enough. So I could definitely do with like the extra small, but this is just so comfortable. You can't really see because so much stuff in the way um but yeah this is so so comfortable so i've just popped it on for my journey home i absolutely love it i've literally not stopped wearing it since i got it so so comfy the back is slightly annoying but to be honest with a black like bra underneath i don't feel like one strap at the back would you know ruin it too much that is the one thing the skims bodysuit is better for um, it's like thicker here and it's also higher up on the back, which is great. However, you just look like one giant long American apparel disco pant. This one is just like legging material. It's so nice, so comfy. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, this is what I wore on the journey up and this is what I will be wearing on the journey home. Gone for a little slick back ponytail because it's hair wash day and I cannot be bothered anymore. And I can't remember if I said, but I forgot to put SPF on this morning thing i feel like i i feel like i might have said that i have rectified the spf situation by just putting on a load of spf over the top of my makeup and i have to say no other spf could do that except well maybe there's quite a few but that la roche posay spf that i use i'll show you hang on it's all right it's all right here i just have to be able to open something single-handedly will she be able to do it yes this SPF, it's great. It can go over the top of makeup because it has a tint to it. It can go over the top of makeup without giving you like a weird white sheen or anything like that. I love it. So that has saved the day and now I don't have to take a full face of makeup off. And it's just kind of like made the makeup look that I did look a little bit more every day because I've kind of blended everything together. I just use my hands, but yeah, just kind of, it's blended all of the product that was on my face together very nicely. And don't worry, I used plenty. Trust me, I used plenty. So there is enough on my face. Not having to take a full face of makeup off an hour after I put it on makes me very happy. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw all of this stuff in my suitcase.
I just made my bed and I've gone and sat on it straight away. Love that for me. Why did I bother? Good morning. I'm back. Believe it or not, I've actually had a week off. So the footage you saw earlier was from like two weeks ago. Um, it was a really lovely trip though and I didn't want to lose the memory. Weirdly, sometimes I don't even really care if it like doesn't make for good vlog footage. Sometimes I just like to have things for the men's and that was definitely one of those trips. I'm not happy with these. Why do these sit so weird? So it's been a while since then. A fun fact or not so fun fact. I was actually having a very bad day that day. I don't know if I mentioned it, but that was the day that I thought I'd lost my passport. And that passport could have been anywhere from Gardenau, uh, St Pancras, London, Brighton, my house, Ryan's house. I have been in so many places and I hadn't seen that passport since I got on the Eurostar and you don't need it when you get off. And I was, uh, it was a few days before the Jimmy Choo trip and I was losing my mind. Just one of those days where you really didn't feel like you were on top of things already. And then something like that happens and you just feel like you do not have a handle on life. You have really effed up you're a failure as an adult and you really start like laying into yourself it was one of those days it was just awful sorry just fixed the color temperature because it was like severely blue in here because it is literally peeing it down today if it looks dark in all of the vlog footage it's because i am in the dark and i'm refusing to put the lights on lights make me sad and they're expensive but anyway but yeah i wanted to document it i loved my makeup i loved my outfit i just loved that evening it was such a nice evening so i wanted to use that footage somewhere um and it just didn't really fit in any of the other footage that i have i did actually want to do a kind of talk through tutorial on that makeup look and take you through what the makeup artist did but i'm still waiting on the products however i do have a few other products that I've ordered. I did a little cold beauty order. So I'm gonna use a couple of bits from that. I don't know if I'll use all of these, um, but if you saw my video with Alana, Alana, I always say it very Britishly with the R sound. My video with Alana. Uh, I picked up some bits from cold beauty after we filmed our video together. She just really inspired me and I was so excited to try out some new things. So I'm gonna use um, a few of them today. I don't know if I'll get through all of them because there's quite a few bits, but I picked up the Hourglass, what is this? Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This is actually just something I've seen a lot of people talking about and I was really excited about because I use the concealer and I'm, as you know, I'm obsessed with it. I also picked up, oh no, bye. Um, I also picked up the concealer in a lighter shade because I have, what shade is it? I can't remember the shade, but it's quite dark. Um, so I picked up the shade beach and i'm hoping i'm not expecting like a perfect color match because this is like sold so many of these are sold out in so many places like it was just impossible to get a lighter shade um so i'm hoping this one's going to be okay i'm sure it'll blend out if i'm using like hopefully a foundation that matches my skin i picked up shade five in the ambient soft glow foundation i'm excited to use it so i'm going to use both of those i also picked up some things from westman atelier um which we talked about in the video so i picked up the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. I feel like this is like a combo between skincare and makeup. Yeah, I think I picked up the shade four. I think it's in Roman numerals and I'm not exactly the most clued up on Roman numerals, but I think it's shade four. Uh, but I'm gonna move on in case I just made myself sound really stupid. Anyway, more from Westman Atelier. I picked up the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Petal. Pretty love that and then i got the face trace contour stick in the shade biscuit cute name like a nice cool tone so i think this is going to be really good for actually contouring which i've been mentally like reminding myself for about a month now that i want something that's a bit more like contoury rather than bronzy so very excited to have that i also picked up a lip gloss from tower 28 i tried to find the mascara but i don't think we have it available to us in the uk yet but i picked up this lip gloss i think it's in the shade oat it's a little bit warmer than i thought it would be but cute i really like the tower 28 branding and then i also got a couple of bits from natasha denona i love natasha denona so much like the eyeshadows chefs uh she does a lipstick in the shade Susanna so I could not pick it up because if you have a weird name uh you'll know what it's like when you could never get your name on a key ring as a kid uh so anything with your name on it is very exciting I don't know if it's going to be the one but I just was really excited by the fact that it had my name and it was a nude lipstick I also picked up a new Anastasia brow definer in ash brown I've been loving this got on really well with it you also get a really nice 
amount of product um, in the pencil, like it keeps going. Uh, there are some that I have used where they last about five seconds and it really annoys me, but I think you get a good amount of product in this. Then I got a Natasha Denona lip liner. These are the I Need A Nude Lip Crayons and this is in the shade NB2. We'll see. It could be a bit light, but it could be perfect. It looks quite cool toned, so I'm excited. And then I got the Soft Glow Foundation Brush. Ambient Soft Glow Foundation Brush. I don't understand how I'm meant to get this open. As a person with long nails. Oh, oh. And they say I don't have talent. Well done me, well done. You know when you say something and you just know it's not gonna land with people that don't understand that you're being sarcastic? Ooh. It's nice and dense and I really like a dense foundation brush. Does anyone remember that one I used to have? I can't remember what brand it was from, but it looked like a spoon. It looked like a brush on a spoon. I love that foundation brush. I really, a video of mine popped up the other day where I was using that and I was like, good times. Where has that brush gone? And then finally, I got an eyeshadow palette, which I thought would be perfect for the festive season. Like I said, I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. They're the best quality, honestly. They are so buttery. And I really wanted to do some more like gold eyeshadow looks. So I got this, but I also love the fact that it has this like cool toned, like duo chrome shade just here. And then this darker uh, shade here, I think is really stunning and would make like a cool base for a liner potentially. Excited to try that out. I think the nude shades in it are quite nice as well. Like I think this one here would be a nice like everyday, but I also am obsessed with this shade here. Stunning. So yeah, really excited to try that. Also the shade Silk. I might not use that today though, cause I feel like I just want to go quite minimal today. So we're going to try the Hourglass. These two from Westman Atelier. And I'm gonna try out the lip products. Oh, okay. Could have gone darker, but this might oxidize, so I'm just gonna see. Uh, we might be okay, you know? Hmm, you can tell on the edges it's not. Oh, oh, okay. It might be a little bit too light, but I think I can make it work. I'm just gonna bronze. You can see on my forehead, it's not really the best match. Like, I needed just this one shade, I needed a 5.5, .5, I think. But this is good, this is good. This, this will be good for winter for me. So I'm not mad about that. But as you can see, she is back in the house. Never have I ever been more excited to be home and to have my home resemble some sense of uh, normality. The bedroom is almost completely finished. And as you will probably guess, the vibe ended up being same but different. The only thing we're waiting on now is our new mattress for the bed. There's like finishing touches, like the pillows that are on the bed aren't quite like right. They're my old pillows. I've just turned them around. Um, not these ones, these ones. So yeah, finishing touches in terms of like pillows. I would love to get some artwork in here, um, but I would like to really invest in some artwork. So I think that will be something that's like a long time coming because I'll need to save for it. And right now every penny that I can save is going towards the loft conversion. I'm excited to show you around properly. The studio uh, was also finished whilst I was in Paris. So unfortunately, like I really wanted to show you it completely bare but that's not gonna happen because ryan like moved his stuff in straight away to the studio oh this is a good match love that okay unfortunately i can't show you it uh bare but you get to see the finished kind of reveal also a half style broom so um it's not completely done he still wants to get specific furniture pieces and just there's we're juggling a lot at the moment so that will be um, a kind of work in progress over the next kind of year or so I reckon. But yeah, we're basically there. We have finished phase one uh, of the house, which we're both very excited about. So we have our house back ready for the festive period. And then next year, I think we'll be jumping straight back into it. And I'm scared. What we've just done was just such a small thing. Actually, no, we basically had a whole building site in our garden because there was only one wall we didn't change for the studio so uh yeah one wall remained untouched so actually we almost built an entire studio but yeah it still was relatively minor compared to what i feel like a loft conversion will be so i'm scared but it's all good 
because then I'm gonna get my studio and I'm excited about that. Also Nala's gonna get her own bedrooms. Just excited to have guest bedrooms, that's gonna be really fun. Oh, I forgot to use the brush. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna use this brush because I think this will maybe blend this quite nicely, we'll see. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, I love this. Blends so nicely as well. I'm just gonna take the excess across my eyes. I don't know why I always do this and it just kind of gives you a little bit more definition. It's really nice. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my favorite Armani product on my eyes. I'm obsessed with using this on my eyes. This is the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm for cheeks and eyes in the shade 20. I literally just use it on my finger and blend it like that and it's just so pretty okay let me put on a little bit of the blush from westman atelier i think this is going to be a good shade on me i don't know how pigmented this is going to be i could be really effing up here but we'll see this looks like it's going to be a nice all year round blush onto my lips quickly because the lack of upper lip right now is upsetting me honestly foundation lips not the one I'm gonna use a little bit of this lip liner. Why do I look so, like the light is doing me so dirty right now. Mm, this reminds me of MAC Strip Down. If you have a fairer skin tone, this will do for you what MAC Stone does for me in terms of like lip contour. Let's try some of this lipstick though. Oh, oh, that's so nice. It smells so good, wow. I think it would suit a pink lip liner better though just to warm it up a little bit because it's a little bit cooler in its tone. Okay, I'm done. I am gonna bronze a little bit though, I think just across my forehead. The light is so weird today. Yeah, if I'm gonna stick this on autocorrect, I'm gonna be putting some bronzer on. These cameras in gray day lighting, they really don't do you any favors. Just been into the loft to get this sweater because it is definitely sweater weather i really wanted to wear a cute outfit today but i'm definitely not leaving the house with the weather like this it is honestly it's been torrential rain for days so wearing this old top shop jumper it is just so nice it needs like a good uh i don't know if the bobbling is gonna do anything like it's super fluffy um i don't know if a debobbler would help or just ruin it uh if anyone knows let me know uh because i <laughs> look at this it's crazy because i just love this jumper so much like i've had it since 2018 2019 it is looking a little bit worse for wear but i love it it's coming off a lot warmer on camera but it's like a really gorgeous very neutral pink beige kind of tone and i'm just wearing a little skin bodysuit underneath this is the one uh, I got off Nest Porte. Love it. Um, I actually prefer it to the Skims bodysuit. It's like a leggingy material, so it's just lovely and so comfortable. And I literally wear it so much. The only downside is that it has a low back, so you can't wear a bra. Well, you can, especially if you're just like this. But if you want to take it off, it's a bit annoying. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm wearing silver jewelry today. We've got Monica Vinida hoop earrings, Monica Vinida. Gorgeous little pendant necklace. I am obsessed with this. I then have all Monica Vinegar rings as well. This one's rose gold, but we're just gonna ignore the fact that it doesn't match. Um, but we've got little and the big one, and then this one as well, which I love. So yeah, all Monica Vinegar today. And I'm gonna put on a little bit of perfume. I'm gonna go for Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. This, like, I love, I love this. I love it so much. It, will always have a special place in my heart, but honestly, I think this is, this is top tier. It is delicious. It's like the base of it is super sweet, super like toffee, caramel, autumnal flavors and flavors, <laughs> notes. Mm. But it's got that same like fruitiness that Jimmy Choo, I Want You has. Oh, so stunning. Anyway, you are probably sick to death of me talking about it. So I'm gonna shut up now, but it really is like stunning. Mm. Yes, and it sticks around. I love that, like there are not enough fragrances. Sometimes you spend like hundreds of pounds on a fragrance and it doesn't stick and a little bit annoying. And it's not your top end of fragrance pricing either. So just love that. Black Friday is also coming up and I'm, there's probably gonna be a pretty good deal on that. So if you're looking for a new fragrance, I would highly recommend that one. Anyway, ignore my washing. Been very busy washing my pajama shirts over the past couple of days because it is like cozy pajama season. So I was like, mm 
gonna need to get them smelling all nice. Um, I'm gonna show you our home updates. Finally, <laughs> I think I had this video like originally penciled in for early October. So obviously, like I said, we've had the studio done, but we also made some changes to the bedroom as well. Um, mostly just to add extra storage space because this house has zero storage space. It has the island, kitchen island thing, and then it has this cupboard, which is about this deep. It literally fits an ironing board in it. <laughs> slide it in so actual built in to the house storage space is something we were severely lacking uh there were obviously no built-in wardrobes in the bedroom so i decided that it would just be a good investment into the house considering we are planning on staying for like a very long time now uh it would be a worthwhile investment to build them in have my dream wardrobes ryan thankfully let me just like go hard on the creative for it um and i'm very grateful for that because they are my actual dream the bedroom looks much more girly than i anticipated i actually bottled it on painting in the bedroom like a greeny gray or just a solid gray this time of year the more poor weather we got and the more like the days started getting darker it was getting closer to painting day and i was like just gonna just gonna paint it white and especially with the wardrobe style that i settled on in the end i was originally gonna go for mirror wardrobes i changed my mind as you will have seen, as you already know, there's a lot of paneling going on. Um, and I actually skipped on the paneling elsewhere in the bedroom. I'm gonna stop talking it through because you'll see it in a second, but I went rogue on the original bedroom plan. So this vibe was like same, but different. We actually ordered a new armchair, which was going to be for the bedroom, but it just fitted, like we unwrapped it in the lounge and I was just like, this chair has got to stay in this room. It is stunning. So the blue chair, you will see it has, got a new home now but yeah there is a new armchair edition in the living room um the new furniture editions are very kindly gifted from sofa.com they are stunning they are stunning so look at this like ignore this i don't really know what's going on over here i need to like judge look at this this is stunning it is so well made like the quality is great it feels so robust the material like this fabric it's a caramel tan boucle i think it's boucle on their website um in the shade champagne i believe i will correct myself if i'm wrong but it is stunning and my zara home cushion <laughs> looks so gorgeous so this is the ginger armchair i believe it's a newer addition to sofa.com and it is absolutely unreal it's so it's very large um i don't feel like on camera you're able to really tell scale but this is actually a very large nook just doesn't always look it and this armchair was so big and it kind of comes out it's quite long and i just felt it fitted this space so well over the space in the bedroom that i had penciled for an armchair so yeah i decided to switch things up and i'm so happy like it just feels so warm in here when you walk in now it's absolutely stunning i'm really happy with it actually because um i didn't really realize how badly the blue gray chair was like bringing down this space but this chair just warms everything up it fits so perfectly with like the tones on the floor some people might say that it's a bit like too samey but this time of year i just feel like it's helped to warm the room slightly especially because light bounces onto furniture and then the furniture if it's a certain color will like ricochet the light off and it will give off that tone so the blue chair was like casting a blue tone around it which as soon as i put it, this in here i kind of realized that that was what was happening and that was why the room was looking very cold over here the rest of the room just looks a bit of a mess so i'm not gonna like spend too much time on that but this little nook this is everything. I actually, when we finished and when it was all like sorted, my favorite thing to do was stand in this little bit in my hallway where I can see into both rooms. This spot right here, I can see my gorgeous living room and my gorgeous new armchair. And then I could also see my gorgeous new bed. And I really wasn't joking when I said same but different because you probably haven't even noticed that it's a new bed but it is this is actually a king size bed um again from sofa.com it is so good it's an ottoman literally my slippers can no longer get lost under the bed and we can actually store things under there which is incredible it's in this gorgeous fabric which is actually a lot lighter than the one i had before the one i had before was more of a minky color i thought i was really going to miss the pinky tone however it's really brightened up the space like the light bounces off of this much better than it did the old one so i'm super happy with it 
like I said earlier, I've turned my pillows around um, because they, I got new pillowcases, as you can see, these stunning babies right here, and these just didn't go. So I've just temporarily turned them around, and actually, I don't think it looks that bad. So we'll see, but my mum really wants these pillowcases, so I feel like I should buy some new ones and give them to her because she desperately wants them, bless her. Anyway, so this is an Ottoman bed. I believe it's the Rosalie bed, and the fabric is alabaster. Stunning. Star. Ning, so gorgeous and then i've got new pillowcases as well so these are our soho home pillows literally the most comfortable pillows on planet earth and i got some new pillowcases for them i got these from danel so i love these because they actually remind me of like a soho house towel um they do these like big thick stripes on their towels but in like this gorgeous neutral like minky tone so beautiful and this size fits my king size pillows so well also so excited that my king size pillows actually fit on my bed now because before they were always like falling off and we had to overlap them the rest of them are just like normal standard size pillows but um i got some gorgeous new linen uh pillowcases as well for the ones that um we actually sleep on rather than having white because i just feel like white gets spoiled so quickly and the whites don't say like brilliant white for very long so i felt like this was a much better option i actually don't sleep on this many pillows i only sleep on the one below but it annoys me seeing like ryan has two behind and i only have one so if you're wondering why mine looks so plush that's why because i don't sleep on it um and then underneath i've just got my regular pillow with my lily silk pillowcase on it which are the best silk pillowcases and then this sheet is stunning look at this like this fitted bed sheet oh my goodness also yes uh this is going to look a bit crazy we have so much extra space the other side of the bed because we obviously don't have the king size mattress yet but yeah this bed sheet from dunelm is just stunning um i think it's from the linen yard is the brand and i am absolutely obsessed i've also bought it in king size ready for the new mattress and then this one will go on our guest bed so yeah those are the first new additions to the bedroom and as you can see in the reflection of the mirror we have got they literally i i get so much joy out of this angle i can actually see it when i walk past uh, the bedroom door so even if i only see the side of the wardrobe walking past the actual door i can see the reflection of like the front of the wardrobes in this from the doorway and it's just it makes me so happy so i will show you the original image that i took from pinterest i literally said copy and paste to my builder there were actually two because we didn't love the paneling on one but we loved like the handles and another aspect of the other so i'll show you the two photos i sent to my builder if you want to do the same or if you want to just send them mine that's fine but if you want like a real pinteresty image to give your uh builders for whatever reason then i'll leave them on screen they're also pinned on my pinterest if you want to go over there as well but yeah these are the wardrobes they are absolutely stunning. They literally make me so happy and they fit the space so well. I was really worried when these were first done that they were like too much in the room, but they are absolutely perfect. Like once they were painted and it all like fitted the room, it was just everything. I'm, I'm so obsessed with them. So I will link uh, both the builder that did them and the handles, because I got the handles separately um, I sourced them myself from Etsy. I'll put the link for those in the info box because they are just so beautiful. I really didn't think I was going to be able to find like a good match for the handles from the Pinterest photo, but I'm happy with them. I am so happy with them. I'm going to show you the inside now. I drew the what I wanted the inside to be like myself. So this has all been selected by me. Not that it's anything groundbreaking, but... Um, I have plans, people. I This is looking really minimalist and bougie right now, but I'm going to get like baskets and things like that so that I can actually store a lot of stuff in here. And honestly, you can fit so much in here. They're actually so wide. I don't really feel like you're going to get a good idea of scale. There is so much space in this wardrobe. I'm so happy. It means that I can free up a lot of space um, in my wardrobe room, which will be great because at some point that wardrobe room is going to disappear for quite a while. So um, it's nice to have somewhere to put like the majority of my everyday clothes. And the way I'm kind of working this is that this is my 
capsule wardrobe like and all of my extras all of my event dresses look everything else can kind of go into storage in the wardrobe room instead of being in the loft if that makes sense so yeah this is like my capsule wardrobe basically like lots of t-shirts blazers um jumpers jeans trousers everything i wear daily and then the majority of like my shoes and bags and everything are in the other room yeah i'm so so happy with it I mean, this is not, these are not staying like this. I just kind of wanted to put everything together and kind of make a start. Hello. Oh, shit, this one's struggling now. But that's why we got you the stool. Look. This is another sofa.com purchase. Do you want to use the stool? Oh, no. Still trying to teach this one to use the stool. But yeah, this is our sofa.com little stool which I really wanted because one it's cute obviously but two you are getting on a bit now and you're struggling to get on the bed even though the bed I think is slightly lower than it used to be so you need to learn to use this so we're literally gonna try and teach an old dog new tricks Ooh, why are you crying why are you crying <laughs> don't cry it's not it's not that bad you're only eight <laughs> we've missed you in the vlogs what have you been up to barking at the squirrels She's actually been spending a lot of time in the garden because she now can't decide who she wants to sit with now that Ryan and I are home all the time, but very separate. So she just kind of sits in the garden if the weather's nice and sits halfway between both of us. Look at this. Look at the paw. Like, don't stop stroking me. Paw? <laughs> I'm obsessed with you. I am obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you. Mm. You're going to use the stool. Come on. Come in. Oh, yes. High five. Yeah. <laughs> and then we come back up here. Yes. High five. Yeah. No, that's not. That's a two five. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous like herringbone fabric. I will put all the details for what it's called and what the footstool is called in the info box. Very happy with this. No, use the stool. Use the stool. Damn, it's, it's going to be a long winter, guys. So yeah, those are the new additions to our bedroom new wardrobes i'll try and link as much as i can in the info box below um and i'll also link these as well and um, these we bought back in the summer from swoon editions so some of you might not have seen them yet um, but they're really gorgeous as well so just obsessed with this room from every single angle now these are gorgeous they're all a bit stiff though so just keep that in mind if you are thinking of getting them they don't come on runners but yeah that is the room those are the updates okay come on you can have a treat now Okay, are you ready? Down. <laughs> Throws herself at the floor. See ya. The long commute to the office. We will get like this sorted. This is the kind of entrance. We still need to have this like painted and everything, but we've got like lighting, cute door. Hello. We've come to see you. Your new home. That's where I live now. <laughs> We're not actually moving in together. He just lives nearby. <laughs> Stunning. So you guys will have seen, I think they saw before the floor went in. So this is the flooring we went for. Do you remember what it was? It was like Candine Van Gogh. Oh. Glue down. Goals. Okay. Uh, Candine and go glue down in the shade does it say the shade i'm not sure but yes yeah, so it's got kind of like a rustic feel but it's warm but it's got some gray tones so it kind of marries up like everything going on in this room because obviously ryan's like desk has some warmth to it you've got lots of different kind of woods going on with various bits so i feel like this flooring was perfect mm -hmm. oh you've moved the skateboard in as in the as well. Yeah, and we've got strip lighting up there. I think they've seen the lighting, but that's outside. Oops, I love the lighting in here. Oh, vibes. Oh, it makes the camera gives lines. Interesting. Oh, yeah, the type of lighting, it? yeah. Um, but yeah, stunning, stunning. Um, and then you've got your cute little smiley face light. The vibes little lamp over here for more vibes obviously we need to like sort things and get cabinets for in here and stuff and my coffee table 
You bought your coffee table? It's in the car, I'm in the oh wow, okay, cool. Um, Blue chair also has a home. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all right. It too, huh? No, I use it. I come in and sit here and talk to you. <laughs> yes, you yeah. But it's mostly for me to bug you. You love it. And Shrimpy sometimes sits there. Have you mentioned the album that you started recording? The, the heavy metal album yeah. that I started recording. That's kind of how things are looking. That's the flooring we went for. This is the finished result. Are you happy? Yeah. Worth it? Yeah. Worth the stress? Yes. Still needs a lot more acoustic treatment, but... They don't need to know that, though. I, I wasn't sure if it would sound weird on camera. It's no. Like boxy. It's great. I'm gonna leave you alone now. I'm gonna come and get tea. Oh, I was gonna say, make some bangers. <laughs> nope. The upside of having a boyfriend that works from home with you. Ah, oh, my God, is that a tea? Oh my god, this is the most exciting. It's your turn tomorrow. What? No. My bedtime. I am so tired. Dinner was so good. Yeah. Bedtime. Yeah. So thank you so much for spending the day with me. I really enjoyed catching up with you. That's gonna be it for me for now. I'm excited for the upcoming vlogs though. I think things are gonna get very, very festive from here on out and I am actually really looking forward to it. Not necessarily Christmas, but like I enjoy the run up to Christmas. I just basically enjoy the parties and the fun things with friends and socialising and all of that. Like I really love that bit. So um, yeah, I think the next few weeks are going to be super fun. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye. That's my toilet cleaner in the background just chilling. That's nice. That's nice. Anyway, love you, bye.